Now, this is one of the glitchiest things. You can find this formation. Look at how uh, Quez Watkins just cooks whoever's out there. Nobody's going to be able to keep up with your best receiver coming out in a route like that. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff of the Mad Cheese has always got another explosive rushing attack offense for you guys today. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys what's been one of my favorite rushing attacks, probably going all the way back to last year. So, if you watched my channel last year, you, this might look familiar. The offense that I'm in today, one more time, will be the Pistol Offensive Playbook. I'm thinking about moving on from this. I could probably put out a full breakdown of this offense I'm going to show you guys today. I could probably put out another offensive series or two if you guys want to see more stuff out of the Pistol, if you're enjoying the Pistol. But what I would really like to do is move on to some of the other alternate playbooks. I think I get a lot of requests from the run and gun or the run and shoot. I really don't remember which one, but I could easily do something out of any of these playbooks. So if you want to see West Coast spread, run heavy, run bounds, run and shoot. If you're using any of these playbooks, if you have Woo! suggestions, let me know in the comment section. If you want to see more alternate playbooks, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. Now the formation that I'm going to use today should look kind of familiar. I've put out plays from this formation in the past in a couple different playbooks. More specifically, the Ravens. The Ravens, as far as team playbooks go, the Ravens probably have the best pistol selection in the game. It's either them or the Cardinals, uh, which would be another playbook that I could definitely uh, put some time into. But ultimately, this is the running formation. I, I use it a ton in the Ravens. I'm going to start off by showing you guys the four play audibles. There's really four plays, maybe five that I could run out of this scheme. Uh, but this is the four most essential. Now, there's really only three to be honest with you. The counter lead is one of the most explosive plays in this formation. That's something that I put out from the Ravens playbook. The halfback slam is an important play because a lot of these plays are going to be run to the outside. So the slam is going to be a play that you're going to want to have something just to go up the middle if your opponent uh, starts spreading their defense. But realistically, you have that in the triple option switch you have the ability to hand off right up the middle in the triple option switch so that's why i was saying it's really only three plays the third play is either going to be the zone read which is probably my favorite because you have an option play or there's actually another play uh which is pretty good if i could find it here real quick which is the halfback off tackle so i would say these two plays once again just like the slam and the triple option switch kind of attack the same area these two plays kind of attack the same area as well uh but they're all you know this is they're essentially the same play except the zone read has the option to keep with the quarterback which i rarely do so so these are the four plays. They're definitely uh, all explosive and they all tack to the outside. Now there's a lot of really good packages that you can come out in uh, to make this a very uh, tricky offense to defend. Uh, one of the best ones, if you hit the package button over to the right a couple times, you'll find three halfbacks. For a team like the Eagles that have three pretty good halfbacks, this is a really good option. If you play Mutt and you have three good halfbacks, it's a really good option. You're going to want your, uh, your two outside running backs to probably be better receivers than anything, but speed's obviously going to be key when it comes to those spots. Another one that I like is tight end backfield. Your best blocking back like Dallas Goddard in this spot is going to be key. This is a spot that's really going to be blocking most of the time anyway. If you have a fast tight end, that's another really good option. The best option though, in my opinion, is going to be wide receiver backfield. Now this is one of the glitchiest things you can find in this formation. Your third receiver will essentially be in this spot. And this is going to be very important when it comes to the pass plays that I show later in the video or when I show in the full breakdown. Now I typically like to start off with my favorite play, but to be honest with you, I like all these. So we're just going to go ahead. We're going to pick the, the zone read. That's one of my more favorite. We'll pick that first. On the defensive side, we're just going to go random play in general. Now, as always, this video is brought to you by my coin sponsor, AOH.com. If you guys want to get your mutt team up and help support the channel at the same time, all I have to do is check them out. i got a link in the description below. Use discount code MONEY to get 3%, what's always guaranteed to be cheapest ones on the market. And they also do a lot of things from other games, too. No matter what game you play, they probably offer a product. More specifically, games like FIFA. If you play games like Rocket League, which I, I also enjoy, uh, they have stuff for all those games. So check them out and check out 
out their products. Link in the description below. Now, I don't really have a favorite play when it comes to these series of plays. There's three plays in particular that could all be the best play. The counter lead, the zone read, and the triple option are all great plays. I'm going to have different reads every single time when it comes to like what defense I should or what play I should choose against which particular defense. But I really wanted to show off this particular play first. This particular play, it's really going to be best against cover three, cover four. Uh, this looks like it might be a cover two, so this isn't necessarily going to be the best play. But any play where the cornerbacks drop back post snap, this particular play is going to be great. I don't know if I'll be able to get outside of Chase Young either, but that's why I have the option with the quarterback. If I want to hand it off, I hold the A button and I'll hand it off to the running back slash receiver. If this read defender here follows the handoff, I could always just keep it. You can see right here, he does not. And Quez Watkins is, you know, breaking off a big play right out the gate, mostly because he's one of the fastest players on the team. This is something that will definitely come in handy more when it comes to some of the passing plays. But ultimately, this here is just, you know, I'm just trying to utilize this speed. Like, that really didn't set up too well. I had to kind of go wide around it. But you can see because of the speed of my player, I have no problem doing that. Now, this play here might be a little bit more difficult based on the fact that that, you know, you want to basically have your left tackle outside of the widest box defender. You don't always have that. But here we can go ahead and give this a try. Even though we have a superstar defender there, you can see the blocking is just, it just sets up so easily. And it really just becomes all about the speed of the receiver at that point. Now, don't forget though, if you run the zone read, you can always keep it with the quarterback. That's something where essentially you have to wait for this defender to, uh, to, to basically take off after the running back. You can go the opposite way and get some big runs if you have a mobile quarterback so don't forget that now the zone read can be flipped if you don't want to run in the direction that it has you can always flip the play and go to the side where there's maybe less uh, people in the box like here you have two extra guys in the box on the right side I could go the opposite direction and there's no real penalty you see there's no real um, nothing really happened when I flipped the play there was no motions or alignment changes at all because it's an even formation so keep that in mind. If you get a lot of looks where you think it might benefit you, you can always flip the play and your opponent will never be the wiser. You also have a really good option to go the opposite direction in the triple option switch. Now, this play has a couple good options. If you have big lanes like this, your opponent starts spreading out to try to stop the outside runs. You basically just hold the A button and just go right up the middle for what's essentially a dive. It's not as good blocking as the slam. That's why I was saying if you really want to run inside, the slam's best because you have multiple blockers. You have more blockers. These guys here uh, just kind of disappear and then the the linebackers just kind of uh commit where if you have like a slam in your audibles you'll get much better blocking as they'll basically pick guys up and then you'll just basically get bigger lanes slam is definitely going to be a play where you get bigger opportunities inside than the triple option switch but the triple option switch is really going to be one of the best runs to go outside now here once again we have a tightly packed box uh, we have our receiver still in that spot. This play is really going to be all about that receiver. Now, it's going to be best if you if the, if they don't commit to the to the quarterback and you, you have a fast quarterback, you can always take off with the quarterback like I did there. This play to me is not a very effective inside run, but if you have a lane there, you can go with it by holding A. I still find this particular play is going to be best to basically decide if you want to make this pitch. Now, here he defends inside. He crashes down the running back. Now, I'm in a one-on-one -on -one where I basically have the quarterback or the receiver. The receiver is typically the player I want to pitch it to, but if they don't commit to the quarterback, I'm going to keep with the quarterback every single time. To me, the triple option switch was a little better in the past. Here you can see, once again, got too many guys on the right side. We're going to flip that play. We're going to do it to the tight end side. And now you can see how, once again, they don't crash immediately. I had to basically wait a second, but you can see how there's always going to be that option to pitch it out, even if you get past the line of scrimmage like I did there. So here we go once again. Like I said, I want to run to that receiver, but we have the extra box defender there. We're going to basically get this look where you know i can i can do whatever i want here i could hold that ball as long as i like and pitch it out at any point in time that it benefits me as you can see right there i was about 10 15 yards down the field before i threw it away so we'll go back to three running backs for the next one although i still have uh, my tight end in who's going to be my best blocker and we'll go and we'll pick the counter lead which is going to be one of the best plays in the uh, formation as well so let's go and let's pick random play again this is one of the few plays where you're probably going to want to have a fullback at this particular spot instead of a running back uh, because the running back there i mean he really didn't do much of anything to give me uh, a block but you can see it's still a very explosive play he gets in the way which is all that really matters for the passing plays we're definitely going to go back to that wide receiver backfield look. There's some really good passing options when it comes to this particular, uh, you know, offense. I'm going to show you guys four plays, all of which pretty much, you know, highlight the the, the running backs. The first play is going to be the PAX post. I'm going to be highlighting that wheel route. The second play is going to be the PA comebacks. Uh, that's that one's very similar to the to the wheel route though in the, in the previous play then I have the deep curl and the PA flood slip these are all plays that I'm pretty much gonna be going to the receiver or the running back in the backfield my favorites probably the PX post let's go and let's pick that 
on the defensive side this is going to be best against cover three and cover four but we're going to go random play again now this play here i'm not really a fan of the rb route doing what he's doing that's probably the only thing that i would change is i could put him on a comeback route just to give me an option over the middle of the field but ultimately what i'm gonna if i choose this play it's really going to be all about the y route the y route here just gets outside of a lot of zone coverages and it's also a very good uh deep coverage beater if you're running a man zero or a man cover one if they're running a man zero though you don't necessarily have a ton of time to get that across the field but there's also going to be some good plays to be had with this x route which i'm not really going to focus on too much right now so like i said i just do this comeback route you could also block them i'm really going to be throwing to one of those three guys pretty quickly I, sometimes i like to put the b route on a slant too uh because you know this is basically like a flood concept now the a route here you can see that that wheel route if i want to take that underneath for a catch and run the wheel route immediately turns into a blocker so that's something that I can do as well. So like I said, this is something, you know, this is the flood concept. This is something where I could basically run this entire offense like this, dink and dunk passing, explosive hard to stop run plays, and it's something my opponent's never really gonna do a good job of stopping because it's so intricate and it's so unique. Now this here looks like a cover three, which is gonna be perfect for game well. I can always motion him to the line too. If I motion him to the line, he gets out even further. Although here, it looks like we have that man coverage that I was talking about, which obviously I didn't complete the pass, but you can see it does get behind man coverage like man cover one. And that's pretty much the game. You're just gonna be attacking the running backs in the flats or sometimes over the middle. The deep curl here, probably one of the better plays when it comes to man coverage because that uh, that angle route that Quez Watkins is running is going to get it's going to cook everything I would say putting the X route on a comeback route is a little bit better than the curl route that he's on but otherwise you know I would also block the A route he really doesn't do much but otherwise you have your man beater on the right side your zone beater on the other side you pretty much just have to watch and see what defense they run even here like that looked like a cover one where the the linebacker did cover nobody's going to cover that receiver so you're basically just watching the two right running backs post snap for man or zone it's really that simple uh the comeback route is just a slightly better check down but ultimately i'm looking at the y route or the rb route we're getting a lot of man coverages that was a man zero like i said you're not going to get anything that nobody really is going to cover that it'll cook anybody uh you know any opponent too like that was a man zero blitz you saw how quickly i got the ball out that's something that nobody's really going to cover here we go once again looks like i might have a man cover one once again watkins is going to beat just about anybody and it's something that you know you can use pretty much all game in conjunction with some of the other plays i'm going to show like the uh, the fullback slip screen that's what makes this series of plays so successful is your opponent's going to always you really have to mix it up you can't run the same play over and over because eventually they'll pick it out but between the px post the deep curl and the flood uh, fullback slip these are all going to be routes that attack different areas of the field leaving your opponent you know a lot of times covering just air as you can see right here this is another route going the opposite direction same thing going outside now and then the last play is going to be the pa flood fullback slip this is another play once again if it's a zone coverage you can throw it to the y route but typically if it's a man coverage the rb route even if it's a zone coverage the rb route is going to be much better because it's going to be once again your best receiver and nobody's going to be able to keep up with them so you have a series of plays here some they're all attacking different areas of the field and you're always going to be basically going to the running backs i'm not even really making reason on these other plays if it's a man coverage especially though this is really going to be a good route look at how uh, quez watkins just cooks whoever's out there nobody's going to be able to keep up with your best receiver coming out in a route like that now you do have one play touchdown against man coverage with the PA comebacks. The route that the Y route is running is very unique. So if you pick that and flip the play, typically you're going to have uh, your best receiver once again running that. I'm going to put the Y route here on a streak. That's just really there to pull back uh, the cover one safety. But ultimately this A route, especially considering my, my speed advantage, is going to beat just about any uh, cornerback, safety, linebacker, whoever's covering that. So you can have a very easy one play touchdown, but it really only works against man cover one. So that's it, that's the vid. If you guys wanna see more from this offense or more from the pistol uh, playbook, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man, my shit out. Need more help or just wanna show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.